Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. SMF Pro Trading students are spending their weekend, holiday weekend, and Happy Easter to everyone, is how to be pro risk management, risk management, entry management, volume management. There's all kinds of little different management skills that they imply when needed. And what we're going to talk about here is how they can bounce off of a pivot versus uh, some of the things they've seen on the other tape. So basically here, uh, SMF Pro Trading students, is that yes, we break that pivot here, and yes, you would have that stop, but we came down to that pivot one day, and when that's red, you still cancel all. But then when you bounce, it has to be green. You can buy in here, right there. And yes, you can. And it comes up and it fails. And you could keep a stop loss order as a protocol, which would be your entry, which is half of that bar. You would have got stopped, but it came down here and you could have got another entry. It started this time and it gapped above the bar. And not only that, half of the bar, you had a gap up above here and you burned off the trend. This is what we call a double bottom that held that support versus that first videotape of where it printed right through it and kept going. Here, I'm just showing another pivot line that yes, you would take your stop market right below there because it finally came down, it made it, it started the move and came back and it tested it. So if you got in even here and the move failed, you could still protect it in your mathematical formula that we use and buy down here on confirmation. And that's how this is traded. Along with here, we started to do the right thing in all of your indicators. That, and, and the turn was good. And you want to see the abrupt turn in the indicators continuing to go quickly. So double bottom, but here, made your pivot. If you had a limit order out here and you got hit, number one, you cancel on red. It's not green. You put the stop down here for that reason. You get in. If you buy the move here, it comes down. You could take a stop. You can always enter the trade again. And there's several different times that you can enter a trade and one will work. So you get your 300 shares here. It pops up. You'll learn that you could scale in a couple hundred more knowing that that half of that bar would hold if it wanted to test it and bounce. But working with this positive volume down here with the move is also helpful. This, you know, on your time frame there. But pivot, stop. If you have a limit to buy on one of these and it's red or coming down quickly, cancel all. You could short a break right there as long as you can't close above it. But if you ever were short and you have a double bottom with the buy, you'd have to be covering and getting out with profits. You hear me? These are short term. And what happened here is that it got above half of that last down bar. But notice it got right back below it. And then it took its move. Then it finally, finally takes out half of that last down bar on this bar. And then bam, there was the trade. And these are double bottom at pivots with green bars. Here, with red bar, even though it's on the pivot, and you were you don't buy on the red one at pivot. No. For that reason right here. No. You wait for the next tick to be the SMF Pro Trader buy bar. And then the turn. And but you buy it, and if you do buy it and we get a red bar on top of here, come out. It's just a matter of until the turn is ready to be made. 